Welcome to another spirit-filled message on Christocentric message. If you're new to this channel, I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video. As well, I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth, it's going to bless you. Your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then God is going to visit your home. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. Whether you have a seat or not, I want you to just concentrate because the power of God will touch you. You will be changed. His glory will be revealed when the Spirit takes over your soul. That's what will happen to you tonight. You will be changed. His glory will be revealed when the spirit takes over your soul i will be changed his glory will be revealed when the spirit takes over my soul ready psalm 71 verse 21 one to read One more time. One more time. Jump up on your feet and blast in tongues and say, Lord, this is your word. You are determined to increase my greatness. It says, Thou shall increase my greatness. Thou shall increase my greatness and comfort me round about lift your voice and begin to pray in the spirit everywhere you will increase my greatness you will increase my greatness and comfort me round about thou shall increase my greatness this is your word for me i receive it you receive you increase my greatness financially you increase my greatness career wise go ahead and prophesy and say lord you are determined to increase my greatness it says thou shall increase my greatness thou shall increase my greatness and comfort me round about thou shall increase my greatness oh you will increase my greatness i will be higher than i am now something will come upon me that will take me to the next season of my life you will increase my greatness pray tonight god is about to mark your life and open up the portals for a new season he said thou shall increase my greatness Thou shall increase my greatness and comfort me. Lord, we receive your word as a house. You will increase our greatness. 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 Makaparata po shoto praise. Sete kariata baladala. Hallelujah. Isaiah 54. Shekatata bakata baladaba. Isaiah 52. 54. Isaiah 54. I'll read verse 1, you read verse 2, and then we'll read verse 3 together. Sing, O barren, thou that didst not bear, break forth into singing, and cry aloud, thou who did not travail with child. For more are the children of the desolate than the children of the married wife, saith the Lord. Verse 2. Are you ready now verse 3 read it as a prophecy to yourself 
for thou shalt break forth on the right hand and on the left and thy seed shall inherit the nations and make the desolate cities to be inhabited lift your voice and say i am breaking limits Shepa pakata. I am breaking forth. Come on, prophesy, Koinonia. I am breaking forth by the power of the Holy Spirit. Nothing limits me. Pray inside and outside. I'm breaking forth. This is the word of the Lord. I'm breaking forth. On the left, breaking forth. On the right, I'm breaking forth. 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 In the name of Jesus, I'm breaking forth. We are breaking forth by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ay, 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 ay. Ezekiel 47 Ezekiel 47 Ah, before I teach tonight, I have come to prophesy Honestly, I prophesy to you That this is the season that you will begin to break limits in the name of the Lord Jesus I prophesy I prophesy upon every area of your life it's time to move to the next level it's time to move to the next level break barriers break barriers break barriers ancestral barriers break limitations that came with your lineage I prophesy to you rise up this is your season for your head to be lifted up this is your season you will shine like the star you will shine like the star rise up to your destiny answer the prophecy of your name i prophesy to you arise shine your light is come in this season arise shake up the dust arise stop crying shine is your season to shine the gentiles will come to your light they are kings to the brightness of your rising i prophesy you are marked for shining arise and shine somebody is leaving his current level let me tell you listen i prophesy to you that the level you are now there is a hand that will pick you tonight in the name of the lord jesus christ and when they saw saul they said he saw also a prophet what suddenly happened a man who left as a house boy returned back with an anointing i pray in the name that is above all names those who have laughed at you this is the season they will see the glory of god arrive those who have mocked your god i prophesy this is the season you will arrive those who have said it's impossible may the hand of my god lift you from where you are to where you need to be hallelujah the bible says and the king sent for joseph a man of great destiny was locked up in a pit but the bible says the king sent for him let me tell you when the king sends for you no power in existence has the ability to stop you when the king if a messenger sends for you is all right but when he said the king sent for joseph tonight my god is sending for you it's time for your destiny to arrive the king is sending for you the king is sending for you
Alléluia. Ezekiel 47. Listen. Eleven times in my dream, the Lord kept telling me it's the season of breaking forth for God's people. Eleven times. Eleven times. I have never had such an experience. Eleven times the Lord kept speaking to me that go and prophesy that is the season. That's why I came with that verse. You can choose to believe it because you see, when many people hear the word, they are just those who just stand. But there are others who say, Lord, this is it. This is my word. I take it. I receive it. It is my word. Ezekiel 47. I'll just share this and we'll pray. I want your spirit to be fired up tonight. Sita parata koshabai. Afterwards, he brought me again to the door of the house. And behold, what has issued out from under the threshold of the house eastward. And the forefront of the house stood towards the east. And the waters came out from under. From the right side of the house at the south side of the altar. Then brought he me out of the way of the gate northward and led me about the way outside into the outer gate by the way that looks eastward and behold there ran out waters from the right side now listen it says and when the man that had the line in his hands went forth eastward he measured a thousand cubits that's a level And he brought me through the waters and they were to my ankles again everybody say again oh the last lifting is not the last one the bible says again the word of the lord is coming again for many of us the last time it came was years ago it says arise shine not because there is light the light has come to you when the light comes to you you must arise hallelujah again he measured a thousand cubits and brought me through the waters and the waters were to my knees again he measured a thousand and brought me through and the waters were to my loins afterwards he measured a thousand cubits and it was a river i could not pass for the waters had risen waters to swim and rivers i could not pass over Oh, the Lord will take you higher in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord will take you higher in the name of Jesus Christ hold hands with somebody and we're going to prophesy combine all these three scriptures together and shout it let the pit of hell know that is your season for lifting go ahead and prophesy it's my season of lifting. It's my season of breaking forth. It's my season of life. It's my season of dominion. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Shake up, ba 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 ba. Prophesy. Breaking forth in every area of your life. I'm breaking forth. Spiritually, I'm breaking forth financially. Second Wakapara Dabalaba. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's take one more scripture. Revelation chapter 3. Man take a babakata la bakata. Revelation chapter 3. From verse 8. It's projected. Are you ready? One to read.
up he says i know your works in other words i've been watching you although things are not working i watch the way you praise me through the pain he said i know your works and as a result behold see i have set before you an open door he said no man no man no government no devil of darkness can stop it lift your voice and prophesy the door is open for me that prison door is open in the name of the lord jesus shake it take it take. sister receive it for your marriage that door is open receive it for your finances receive it for your career the door is open the power that will stop you must bow tonight Oh yes, you set before me an open door, an open door. we still pray through more scriptures Isaiah 45 Isaiah 45 I'll read verse 1 and 2 and then I want you to read verse 3 from the depths of your heart Isaiah 45 thus said the Lord unto his anointed Joshua Selman whose right hand I have holden to subdue nations before him and I will lose the loins of kings to open before him the two leaf gates. He says, and the gates shall not be shut. Verse 2. I will go before thee and make the crooked places straight. I will break in pieces the gates of brass and cut in sunder the bars of iron. You are ready to read your prophecy now. Verse 3. Shake it ba 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 ba. He said, and I will give you the hidden riches of secret places. Lift your voice and pray. And say, Lord, I'm ready to receive. Your word says you will smash the dead. And you will give me the hidden riches of secret places. Come on, pray, Koinonia. The meeting is already on. Pray. I receive it. I receive it. I receive it. hallelujah the last scripture Isaiah 43 Isaiah 43 from verse 16 Thank you, Jesus. Are you ready? Thus saith the Lord, which maketh a way in the sea and a path in the mighty waters. How can a man make way in the sea? Hallelujah. Verse 17. Who bringeth forth the chariot and horse, the army and the power? They shall lie down together, they shall not rise. And they are extinct, they are quenched as a weak. Verse 18 is a prophecy to someone. He said, remember ye not the former things. Forget about the disappointment of yesterday. 
forget about who said what forget about what did not work are you hearing me forget about the result of yesterday forget about what the doctor said he said remember ye not the former things neither consider the things of old why verse 19 behold i will do a new thing oh yes he will do a new thing now we shall spring forth shall ye not know it i will even make a way in the wilderness and streams in the desert i like you to lift your voice and say lord i forget about the failures of yesterday i forget about the failures of yesterday in the name of jesus what the lord will do will surpass what you expected him to do pray i remember not the disappointment i remember not the failure go ahead and prophesy it's a new season god is doing a new thing god is doing a new thing receive it as a prophecy hallelujah may your ears hear it may your eyes see it and may your hands handle it i prophesy one more time may your ears hear about it may your eyes see the miracle and may these hands that are lifted may these hands handle it in the name of the lord jesus christ give god a shout of praise and be seated hallelujah thank you jesus once in a while god gives us prophetic words like this to shake off every unbelief hallelujah thank you jesus one of our passions as a ministry aside from helping people experience intimacy with the holy spirit one of our passion is to help people understand the principles of the kingdom everybody say the principles of the kingdom one of the greatest revelation in my life was the understanding that the kingdom of god is a system that is built on definite structures For me that was the ultimate confirmation that god is a just god hallelujah the bible says he's no respecter of persons and he does not show favoritism whoever can walk this principle of the kingdom ends the right to walk in certain strange order of graces and blessings and may that be your portion tonight in the name of jesus christ so tonight i want to share with us something when the lord gave me the word that he's increasing and expanding our greatness i knew at once that my job is to prepare us so that we do not miss out on the prophetic things that god is doing hallelujah thank you jesus you will be lifted in the name of jesus christ tonight i want to share a very simple spiritual principle and i will tell you why certain people rise and get to some levels and never rise beyond it if you listen if you if you listen and understand what i will teach tonight truly your path will be as a shining light we have prayed we have spoken the word but now is the time to settle down and listen and know how to align with prophecy he said this charge i give unto you my son timothy that you wore a good warfare with the prophecy that has been spoken to you it's not enough that the word comes we must know how to align with the word 
Say amen. And tonight I want to teach on a very powerful spiritual principle. Write it down. Faithfulness. 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 That spiritual formula that governs the rising of men from one level to the other. Faithfulness. I want to show you a powerful formula. Part of the construction of the kingdom of God. This principle was put there. And if you know how to work it, then you will keep rising. Everybody say faithfulness. The first point I want you to know tonight is that it is God's desire for us to experience ever increasing success and greatness in every area of our lives. It is God's desire for everyone, everyone under the sound of my voice and those connecting with us online. It is God's desire for everyone to experience ever increasing success ever increasing greatness is God's desire for you to move from one level of glory to another it's important that you know that it is God's desire there are people who do not believe that it is God's desire for them to experience the blessings of God to rise from one level of kingdom influence to the other say it is the desire of God to see me increase hallelujah but then this these greater levels that we talk about doesn't just come just because of prayer or prophecy alone there are kingdom principles that we must abide by and if we do then we'll be able to step into these levels and one of them one of them is faithfulness hallelujah there are very few teachings about this faithfulness we teach on prayer we teach on many aspects of kingdom principles and they are good but I, I will show you the all surpassing excellency of faithfulness and how it is able to take a man from nothing and take you to the top hallelujah what is faithfulness right Faithfulness means continuous, unrelenting loyalty and commitment. Please write. I want to be very simple so that every one of us will understand. Continuous, unrelenting loyalty and commitment. Be it towards God, be it towards men, or be it towards a cause. unrelenting continuous loyalty and commitment towards God towards men or towards a cause faithfulness faithfulness is such a powerful kingdom principle that God himself called one of the names of God is faithful He is not just he doesn't just have faithfulness he is faithful that is the quality of God that makes him trustworthy it is the faithfulness of God I remember preaching a message was it last year or year before last faith in the faithfulness of God hallelujah to be faithful means to be dependable it means to be loyal it means to be trustworthy please i want you to pay attention tonight this simple kingdom principle has been the reason why many people have failed to rise from their current level of grace or current level of blessings to the next but tonight as light comes you will arise 
in the name of jesus christ hallelujah listen the blessings of god upon a man's life always come in levels write it you must understand this this is how the kingdom functions there's no other way no matter how anointed you are the blessings of god the anointing of god the grace of god comes upon a man's life in levels hallelujah the blessings of god come in levels listen just this this revelation enough this one i just told you is enough deliverance for many people who want to get blessed you know all this sharp sharp mentality right and the youth in nigeria have this mentality the average young man is in a hurry we want to be blessed we want to make money fast hallelujah a man starts a ministry now and in one year he wants to have fifty thousand people he wants to have 30 branches let me tell you the truth if you understand the structure of god's kingdom and how he blesses men you will stop struggling in your life many of the things that people call satanic oppression is not satanic oppression is the consequence of the violation of god's order of lifting people hallelujah a man starts a ministry and all of a sudden he sends all kinds of young people to the 36 regions of this nation and say go and start the branch of the church the kingdom does not work that way in the parable of jesus he said the kingdom of god is like a seed have you read that before the kingdom of god always starts small and then it begins to rise and the factor the report card is faithfulness hallelujah Matthew 25 Matthew 25 very interesting parable that Jesus gave verse 14 Jesus is giving us a parable now see listen the bible is not a storybook the bible is the wisdom of god and if you follow through especially the teachings of jesus you will see the order and the operation of the kingdom the way the kingdom was supposed to function verse 14 it says for the kingdom of heaven is as that means likened to a man all right traveling into a far country and he called his servants three people please three people come you are the servants just stand three people where's the third person just stand face the congregation for the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling into a far country and called his own servants and delivered unto them good look up the bible says they are his servants that means he has been watching them is that true do you agree with me for them to be his servant it means they had a period of time when they were serving him and while they served him he kept watching and on the strength of his judgment and his findings next verse and unto one he gave what five talents right unto the second he gave what two talents and to the third he gave what what was the factor it says according to their several ability in other words their capacity to manage that resource are you following me now not according to their prayer request not according to the prayer point they dropped during miracle service according to their ability that had been proven with time and you will see at the end of the parable that the man did not make a mistake ready next verse then he left he that had received the five talents went and traded with the same and made five more talents so this guy went and brought back profit verse 17 likewise the other who received two he gained another two all right then the third one it says but he that received one went and dug the earth 
you sow seeds not talent what you sow in the earth is a seed are you getting my point you don't sow talent in the earth and he took that talent and sowed it in the earth and hid the lord's money after a long time aha this is another principle what is jesus teaching us here that every time god trusts you with whatever level of grace he will come back there will be accountability are you getting my point there will be a defense there will be a supervision and the report card is what will determine whether you will rise to a new level or not please listen to me and many of you you will know the reason why although you are anointed you've not backslidden but you may never rise to another level until you pass the test of this current level hallelujah so he came back to ask the servants verse 20 so he that had received five talents he now came to the master right and brought five more in other words you gave me five master i went and i faithfully used it and this is the prophet the one that had two okay listen 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 it says the lord said unto him please go back to verse 20. behold i have gained besides them five talents more let's see what the master said verse 21 and the lord said unto him well done good and did he say good and hard-working servant good and faithful servant thou has been what faithful are you seeing now that's the quality i gave you certain gifts i gave you certain opportunities i gave you certain anointings i gave you certain graces i connected you with certain people he said you have been faithful over a few things what's the reward it says i will make you ruler over what many things did the guy pray for it did he fast for it he just showed himself faithful and the lord said i'm ready to take you in other words your faithfulness is your report card that you qualify to enter the next level enter thou into the joy of the lord 22 he who had received two talents came and said you did this and that and that verse 23 the lord said unto him also same word well done good and faithful servant thou hast been faithful over a few things i will make you ruler over what this is jesus teaching he's teaching us how the kingdom works let's see what happened to the third person 24 and he which had received the one talent came look at the guy this is the one talent guy now just, just watch carefully he said lord that's him talking now after a long time of god entrusting him with an anointing after a long time god gave him five members and gave him one year and kept watching what he was doing with the five members are you getting my point he kept grumbling and comparing himself with other people and doing all kinds of things and here's his report lord i knew that you are a hard man look look at this guy he's talking to the man who gave him the gift lord i know you are a hard man reaping where you have not sown can you imagine what did they call the money he said it is the lord's money but this guy is now saying you want me to be the one praying for the sick then i'll be giving you glory you are shining up there i'm here suffering and praying for people are you getting the point now he said it, it, it was see the bible says out of the abundance of the heart so this guy had been locked up in bitterness and anger waiting and say let, let this lord come we are going to flog out this issue once and for all he could not wait number five finished his own number two he said thank god it's my turn lord i know you are a hard man you like reaping where you do not sow he says and gathering where you have not strawed 25 i was afraid instead of wasting my time to build an empire and for you to come and say it's your own 
it made me afraid i don't want to waste my time doing something i will not enjoy the glory directly are you getting what the guy is saying i'm not ready to just work for you and then at the end i will now come to you and say all the glory belongs to you all the glory belongs to you oh god that's what these guys did are you getting me they came back and said this is what you have done but all the glory belongs to you all the glory belongs to you oh god this guy was angry he said this song is not for me oh hallelujah and he was telling god his own version of the song what's the version all the glory belongs to me all the glory belongs to me oh god talking to the lord now stood and looked at him eyeball to eyeball are you getting my point now he says and went and hid thy talent in the earth lo here it is collect your thing wicked man i can't be walking and then you come back and then you want to take the glory take your talent ah. let's listen to what the master called him verse 26 the lord answered and said thou and thou wicked and lazy servant thou knewest that i reap where i sowed not and gather where i have not sowed what brought you into ministry since you knew that the glory belongs to me oh god give me talent give me church god gave you two members now you are complaining who pursued you who put a gun and said enter ministry hallelujah thou oughtest therefore to have put my money to the exchangers and then at my coming i would have received it with interest verse 28 therefore listen this is what will happen to any man that is found unfaithful he says take therefore it's not only the devil that takes from people it's in your bible god can take away from unfaithful men and bless those who are faithful take therefore the talent from him and give it to him that has what in other words take from the one who is least faithful are you getting my point now and give it to the one who has proven to be more faithful listen all the three were servants all the three were emojis all the three were graduates right but over time the master kept studying their lives and he found out that this faithfulness this formula that qualifies men to the next level they had it in different degrees so you can graduate we all graduated from so 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 and so department and then after three years you will find out that the other person probably the one you've been laughing at are you getting my point when i heard khadija giving her testimony i just sat down and i said to myself oh god i can tell you in all sincerity and it's not because she's here while she was here she was faithful very faithful please sit down god bless you sir. hallelujah could this be what has been stopping you from entering the next level hallelujah and i'll make it very practical now so that you will understand i told you the blessings of god always come in levels no matter how anointed you are a lot of people have gotten into trouble for instance from all these these comings and all these these things that they do on internet you just go on internet and say you won 2.5 million dollars and you are foolishly smiling to yourself say don't tell anybody and you keep quiet you see that you just go around dreaming you see people shouting at you you say it's only a matter of time i'm coming the reason is because we do not understand the way the kingdom is built when you know how god blesses and lifts people at once you will know what is not of god is someone hearing what i'm saying now hallelujah 
somebody walks up to you sorry about the light i'm sure they are working on it hallelujah this is a good way to preach no distraction no looking at ladies you hear the word undiluted thank you jesus let me use the opportunity and say what i have to say ah praise god sorry about the sound when god trusts you with small and you refuse to regard it and be faithful then you do not qualify to walk into the greater levels hallelujah i know there are many kingdom principles that can accelerate accelerate our blessings we have double portion we have sevenfold anointing huh we have the favor of god tapping into prophetic uh, uh, unction or fountain or whatever but let me tell you and listen i learned this in a very painful way look up please i want to talk to you never try to lift a man that god has not lifted you will be fighting god and you will be an enemy of god and he will curse you there are many of you you see certain people at the same position and you'll be like ah, uh -uh. oh god but this sister is faithful god you said you should have blessed her and god is saying leave me alone i'm the one who sees the heart of men listen if god does not lift anybody leave them there are you getting what i'm saying many people have entered into a lot of casualties because they want to help certain people you see a man of god that you say after two years your church is still five members abba oh god boy you are anointed you are such a nice brother you greet every sister that comes and god is saying continue talking there i know why i kept five people then you will see another person who looks very scattered and suspicious and god blesses the person i say god this thing i think we need to coordinate this god is saying who is the lord is somebody learning something tonight say faithfulness say it again faithfulness the blessings of god always come in levels that means whatever level god gives you the greatest way to prepare for the next level is not to be crying and fasting and say oh god when will it come when will that anointing come when will they start putting water for come, come and carry this my water and bring oh yeah now bring this my water some of you when you saw them putting the water you were just looking and say ah when will my turn come it will never come till you stop thinking about it hallelujah when you see the people serving it you just laugh and in your mind you're already wishing oh lord give me a church give me a ministry end this my inferiority complex oh lord and god is just watching you he said you think the kingdom is a place of joke see that that's what that's what some of us you know ah yeah the things that people think about in the house of god as a hot message like this is going on there are many people looking at so many things being distracted at so many things hallelujah faithfulness you came into a church and they say okay join the workers say join which kind of workers i was bible study secretary in my 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 local assembly i even led the choir you are now giving me chair to clean god didn't send me that i would do that one no give me something that is charismatic evangelism or prayer or something that will bring me out on the scene hallelujah and then you will find out that you can be in that church with them god trains you at that season he will build you there is a season in your life where you can make mistakes and go scot free god is building you are you getting my point when you prove yourself to be faithful one day god will come to you and say you have been faithful you are always cleaning chairs you are coming early by two o'clock you come nobody knows you but you are cleaning the chairs and as you are cleaning the chairs you are saying oh lord i thank you those who will sit on these chairs will be blessed somebody may look at you and say sister if it's husband you want come for miracle service 
you know that's how people talk once they see commitment in the house of god they say the way this sister is walking i'm sure there's one brother that is i am must it be so or when a brother is doing something he says he's looking for pastor the way this guy is doing his pastor is looking for commit yourself to be faithful i've shared my testimony was it in 94 or so 94 95 hallelujah there used to be a man a church that started called power praise chapel the name of the man i don't know if the church is still there or if the man is still there emmanuel amechi ani i'll never forget his name they started the church in a hotel not too far from our house and they brought somebody that would teach me keyboard he was part of those who brought somebody so when the church started they said i should come and play keyboard when i came to the church no choir no nothing i would trek from my house with my own money and my own keyboard and take it to the church i've said it again they never gave me anything no thank you after service the only thing they gave me once was fanta and one cassette when the man did his launching one fanta bottle fanta and one cassette and i accepted it with gratitude in fact it was my father started getting concerned because i would go to a local church i would come back and then have to go and play keyboard for them and trek back home but god is my witness i never had cause to complain once listen if you are working in a place and your leaders are not good and you find yourself talking you are sowing a seed you will reap it for sure hallelujah there are people who will never walk in a place faithfully their job is to observe what is wrong why is this lady always looking towards where apostle sits and what is her business why are you taking it personal what is your own problem she be you came to bless god too have, be, have you been noticing whatever says you are not the only one who have been noticing this thing rather than getting blessed listen listen rather than getting blessed you are just sitting down then that's how they keep doing everywhere and you will see god lifting them higher and you will remain there and you keep getting angry because every time god comes there is a report card your faithful service hallelujah are you getting what i'm saying a sister can be faithfully sweeping the house of god and say lord i'm not doing this because i want a husband but i'm committed i'm faithful i will serve you whether they laugh at me or not i will do it and one day she's sweeping that's when god will position one brother him is coming to pray god will say turn left say lord what are you saying say turn left it's time for you to change levels and the sister is just sweeping her thing i'm serving the god of miracles i know yes i know and the naysayers and the backbiters are there watching all of a sudden you will see somebody you saw rise up to a dimension you cannot even look at them again faithfulness hallelujah come to sin i'll never forget she used to be the one leading worship before we started koinonia remember somebody will come for those of you who were there Binga, they'll play the guitar and she'll come and lead worship i will never forget one day i lashed them can you remember the day i lashed you seriously very seriously they were not serious with their work and i came that night from i came from the throne room with such an anointing and when i came you know it's not my fault jesus entered the temple when he saw what was going on in the temple say it's the zeal of the lord and that day i made sure that i told them before the meeting they must pray for one hour pray in tongues for one hour clean out every flesh that can corrupt what people need to hear god has honored her today i'm saying this when you see god lifting people in spite of your criticism keep quiet and find out what is being done that you are not doing bless you are you getting my point now say lord i receive grace to be faithful 
God gave you an anointing. You can't heal any sick body. But he gave you grace to preach. You have refused to preach. You don't do any evangelism. See, I'm tired of this evangelism that doesn't have power. Haba, I, I let, let me shine too. When I pray, let the person fall. How can I be frustrating myself? I'm talking, the guys agree with me. I'm quoting a scripture, he's responding back. Lay hands on the guy and let him wake up and know that there is a potential difference. That's what you want. And God is watching. God is saying, look at, this is the level of grace that I gave you. And this is what you are doing with it. Remain there until you learn the art of faithfulness that takes you to another level. That's why overtaking is allowed in the spirit. You can see a man will come and in one year, he has entered some levels. And you have been there for three years. You get the same job in the same office. Other people are eyeing the boss. Shouting there and there. This boss likes women. The other one is saying, Lord, I thank you for the privilege. Although they are paying me 20,000, I know it cannot do anything. I thank you and I'll be faithful. The other one is saying, Wick, wicked boss, you give us 20,000. We are here walking. You are using a phone of 200,000. You are there grumbling and God is watching you. Hallelujah. Do you know God watches your works? As you serve as you are faithful God gave you a little level when I started out I didn't start as anointed as this it would have been witchcraft if I started like this <laughs> line upon line faithfulness I remember when we were very few those who were around one day we went for evangelism in Jamaa hospital we went there and invaded the place just went to preach and share the love of Christ. You are not ready to start small. Some of you, the way you start is true that God has called you in the ministry. And you, you've seen the stadium. You've seen yourself parking wheelchairs. And you will never start small. You want to start from the stadium. One foolish boy brought a letter for me that they want to, the spirit of God led them to hold one crusade. What's the name of that place where they play golf? On your way to huh? polo field i said polo field as if i don't know god you better go and settle down and start small they just came some boys said god gave us an instruction you see i saw it the other the way they were boiling as if they want to start praying i said calm down polo field god gave you a vision go to polo field see all this if you know the kingdom and you understand the structure not even visions will mislead you visions and revelations have made people to do stupid things the word of god that reveals the structure of the kingdom is surer than any dream you will have and any prophetic word you will be given god will never let me tell you take a man who is not faithful and put him in a high position it does not work like that hallelujah it doesn't work like that say i receive grace to be faithful say it i receive grace to be faithful there are many of you i'm telling you you would have left the level that you are now if only you were faithful you've not been faithful with the anointing god gave you you started business God gave you 50,000. You are complaining and grumbling out of the profit of the 50,000. You bought clothes. You bought phone. You are shining. And you say, I'm a kingdom financier. God said, no way. You can sing songs about million. You can draw dollars on your pillow. You will never be a kingdom millionaire. But God trusts you with 50,000. And you say, Lord, out of this that you have given, your kingdom your kingdom and god says you did this for me and then god will test you and say lay down that isaac and you say lord it's painful but let it go god will say you qualify step into the next level hallelujah god made you a prayer coordinator of your small fellowship and you are faithful you are praying 
you are seven in the whole group but you are praying oh god bless these people may they find salvation they are walking in holiness they are walking in truth bless them bless their academics increase them there's nobody to tell you thank you nobody to tell you well done even when you know they are criticizing you when you know they are saying this Augusta, this your spirituality is too much you say lord bless them i still love them god says this looks like the kind of person i can bless are you hearing what i'm saying you are not faithful there are many people who will never be parents because they have not proven to be faithful children you insult every elderly person around you including your parents and now you want a husband you want a wife with your bad attitude so that you make your child become like what you are god said no way we are rehabilitating the young people in the earth you must change before i trust you are you are you getting what i'm sharing tonight it's a very serious message be faithful stop eyeing a high position somewhere be faithful be faithful hallelujah jesus started with a few disciples and then there were so many people then there was a crowd it didn't just start with a crowd financially God wants you to be a multi-millionaire and you just saw somebody <laughs> one of my friends called me very humorous person and he called me he said Josh in my presence somebody bought a Jaguar a new Jaguar 80 million tear rubber hi I said mm -mm, this is the devil here this is not vision this is the devil this kind of lost you see that your own God gave you a golf you are embarrassed <laughs> Especially when you see ladies. You say, come and push this golf out of here now. I see this not your own. This is what society has made us to become. And God is watching you. Yes, you have to open the door from outside, but give thanks. Lord, I give you thanks. It's better than a bicycle. I glorify you. I'm not ashamed of it. And you get up in the morning, you are cleaning it when the tire is as if it's your child that is sick you go and fix it god is saying you have this guy is faithful whenever there is anything in the house of god you say well don't laugh at my golf it's available if you cannot carry people you can carry sound can you use it and god says look at what this guy is doing all of a sudden somebody will walk somewhere and say the lord led me aha to bless you with another car and he said lord it has not changed my faithfulness and you take care of it god gave you a car in three months it has packed up you don't wash it you don't take care of the tire the cars the plugs are everything is jacking you say keep jacking you must keep moving till it dies and you leave it there unfaithfulness unfaithfulness as little as clothes god gives you clothes you don't wash them you don't iron them and you say lord you better bless me all these prophecies that they are giving god is saying what does it cost for me to bless you but you have not proven that you are faithful i receive grace to be faithful that's what i i tell god all the time this work this little work that god has given i i i take it that's why i take my job seriously every time you see me I, i'm in an attitude of seriousness not because there is any human being coming to supervise me i put a sense of urgency time to pray when i'm praying for you nobody disturbs me i shut up the place and i'm praying i say lord you have committed these people and it's my job to pray bless them even those who are not tight in let the tight of the house cover for them while they listen to the message you have not tightened for one year and the heavens are still opening over you let me tell you that these, these prayers that we are praying a day will come god will shift you out alone and then you say so this is how the heavens have been faithfulness god gave you the opportunity to play keyboard you don't rehearse you are not serious you are not improving yourself 
you are there angry with anybody who can see there are certain people because of our lack of faithfulness we never appreciate what gives what god gives us we always want more and we are always envious and angry at people rather than being faithful intimidated by people and we oh god i want this i want this and many of us get into all kinds of things that's what has made many men of god to get into witchcraft the truth is the honor they want to get is going to come how many of you know that all of us here will be blessed we are going to be blessed the millions will come a day will come the things you admire now see i used to think i like food it's a lie i don't like food lack everybody say lack there is a there is a way luck can hit you it will create lust in you anything you see it must finish before you rest that's what was happening to me listen the things you admire about people that make you unfaithful with god if you can be faithful you will walk in it all these cars you see an average young man under pressure People lie everywhere say I ask them where are they walking say I'm, I'm walking with one uh, uh, construction what is the name I say it's a construction company I shot Abuja and uh, Zaria so what are you doing now I came to solicit for another job is it true it's a lie what is pursuing you impatience and lack of faithfulness whereas you are working in a cafe that's the construction company you are working in a cafe and you are embarrassed by it whereas you would have been faithful god has blessed me with a job don't say i'm managing you are not managing you are creating a report card that will bless you hallelujah i'm in a cafe now how much do you earn i earn five thousand say you what kind of why are you falling your hand like this no problem say if it's five thousand let me give you your salary for this month and people intimidate you no problem he should carry his money and keep showing everything you just be faithful sister till now you cannot afford a withdrawal of one five no problem no problem i can plant i'm using my natural hair but i love god and i'm faithful i won't follow any man because of money my god will give it to me one of the miracles god did in my life is that i never this craving this craving for material things that you see somebody and say oh god if you don't take me there no one day i went to buy suit and somebody said this is the fashion in town i said i don't know who are the day i will buy what i want don't put any pressure on me who are the day what fashion where i buy what is good i buy what i like i pay for it if i cannot pay for it i go and wait patiently many of us there are shops you cannot pass right now you have eaten almost one quarter of everything there your money is not enough to buy it but you must buy it every time you pass i want black currants how much 600 how much do you have 59 say, just give me because we cannot be faithful at this level everybody say i receive grace to be faithful refuse to be embarrassed at the level you are now serve god faithfully let men criticize you let men talk let them say you are looking for a name let them say you are looking for a husband or wife no problem be faithful the god who sees your faithfulness when he begins to reward you even you you can't stop it you have a ministry here god has committed two people be faithful pray for the two people pray teach them truth if you have 200 naira and they are hungry sacrifice it god is watching that was what happened to david everybody say david david for a few sheep brothers and sisters david went to the wilderness he risked his life to save a few sheep the brothers had thrown him down but god was watching him and Eliab and all the happening guys God was just watching them when it was time for for people to be blessed Eliab came out broad-chested God said no way 
these are not the kind of people i'm not looking for warriors on the throne i'm looking for faithful servants you are in the worship team they never gave you a song to back up but that i mean to to lead but when you stand here huh, and you are faithful you are singing from the depths of your heart you don't just grumble and say this coin on yourself the way they do their things just a few people who are shining once you hear people complaining like that the truth is is they want themselves to be in that position they will use a third party statement they say why is it that only a few decoration ladies are sitting in front once you hear people talk like that they are not lawyers they are not advocating for anybody they are speaking for themselves it's not like i'm speaking about myself or it's not me who asked you say i receive grace to be faithful god wants to increase us financially but what have you done with the finances that god has given you you keep wasting money around throwing money everywhere doing things that do not glorify god and then you stand and believe that god is going to carry 1 billion or 10 million or 100 million and give to you and then you see god bless someone else and you are like ah god i receive grace to be faithful lord i thank you if it is to sweep the psalmist said i i rather be a doorkeeper a doorkeeper god is speaking to someone tonight i want to lift you up but you have not been found faithful you have not been found faithful the little anointing i gave you you have only been falling and rising you've not done anything with it hallelujah there are ministries who will never experience the prosperity of god not because they are not titan but they are not faithful they are not faithful at all the members raise offering the men of god misuse the money they do anything they want to do with it the man of god is celebrating a birthday party and they they waste so much amount and the ministry is just starting they don't have that kind of money you see that and we put pressure women of god put pressure on people make me the biggest cake thirty thousand. make me this and this is the money of the house of god you're using it and wasting it and god says no way you can't rise beyond this level but god commits resources to a house and he's seen the way the the finances of the lord's house are being used he's seen the faithfulness is seen accountability god says you are ready to move higher who is god speaking to tonight you've been unfaithful god gave you one room you never cleaned it for once everywhere in the room is leaking including under the house you have never said let me call somebody to smell it says in my property this big you is in my property and you want god to honor you you want god to bless you hallelujah your neighbor always picks you and brings you for koinonia you've never said let me contribute small foil two thousand naira you had the car making all kinds of noise you cannot be faithful god will never never it doesn't work that way who is god speaking to tonight many of us will need to pray tonight and say lord i repent i've not been faithful you want to rise higher uh-uh you watch television and you see great people like david oyedeko and you see all of the crowds and all of the things and there are men who sit down just wishing and they dreaming wishing and they dreaming saying let's calculate how much prophet offering will come to this man now see what you are thinking say ah a man with this crowd the money you carry that anger and come back to your small fellowship and you see four people four committed people didn't i tell you to bring five five people why have stand up why have you not brought five five people you must bring five five people have you been faithful the the five people are not learning anything 
for one year they cannot tell you one kingdom principle you've not made warriors out of them they don't pray they don't fast they don't grow they are not knowing the lord they lack intelligence and god is saying this is the same thing you will do if i give you 100 people there are many men of god who want crowd they don't study they don't pray you meet them all the time they are snoring snoring playing computer games watching football you think ministry is just an occupation god looks at your heart and says no i can send you to go and assist i can send you to go and help but i will never send you to lead my work you are not faithful you are vulnerable he leads me and guides me to the city up above he leads me and guides me to my place of destiny listen there were times i would prophesy and speak over people nothing will happen maybe in a crowd like this there may just be one testimony and i said i will be faithful if i cannot pray for the sick at least i can pray for the people and i know god will hear my prayer god saw my heart till today till tomorrow god knows that my desire for more anointing is never so that they will say joshua selman is a great man people say all kinds of things send all kinds of text messages and i thank god but god knows for the rest of my life i remain a servant serving the house of god forget about all of this little honor that comes this is if you want it the welfare the welfare can give you when you see all the protocols standing following me ah when koinonia started i used to climb bike machine during miracle service there will be crowd inside and outside you just see me coming on machine shape bless your people oh god change their story change their life and it was never an embarrassment it was the protocol department that decided they said kai please honor to whom honor is due this is over tomorrow now somebody will see me coming down from a jeep that god has blessed me with you will now be angry why are you angry i climbed bike i entered taxi Some of you are embarrassed to enter bus after service to go and say no let them not know that i didn't come with my car and you start explaining to everybody my car was faulty who asked you enter the bus and go home enter the bus and go home everybody knows you are still rising there is no revelation that will convince us you have gotten there we are all young people rising it's just that some are faster than others what's the embarrassment about somebody comes to your room and it's only gary you have you are hiding until the leather falls out of your wardrobe and you embarrass yourself bring it out and say this is what i have god is faithful the day you buy a recharge card lord i thank you i could afford a recharge card the day you buy a fridge see don't be embarrassed let men see you at your level now so that they will see the faithfulness of god great is thy faithfulness oh god my father there is no shadow of turning with thee thou changest not thy compassion they fail not as thou hast been thou forever will be great is thy faithfulness great is thy faithfulness morning by morning you must sing it from your heart Some of you are even ashamed to introduce your parents to other people because your mother sells a car and your father is a carpenter and you are a fine lady you don't want to fall your hand that is foolishness of the highest order the person who played the fatherly role of jesus was a carpenter are you getting my point 
get this childishness out of your life there are some of you here the work that you do you wash clothes for people is better than prostitution is better than stealing learn dignity in labor be faithful there you're working and they're giving you 200 naira it's small but the 200 naira is with dignity there are many of you god gave you an idea you and somebody put a small joint for a car and you laughed you laughed at god like sarah he said god if you don't if you cannot bless me i can wait there are some of us here god told you i will take you far but start selling used clothes you said ha ah, god used clothes i have never worn a um these clothes that the one uh, what they call it hallelujah i only wear designers why will i now begin to sell used clothes oh lord you are falling my hands and god will say you never will qualify to rise to that level where you will be committed with the true riches of the kingdom some of you are you are not in any unit not in your church not in koinonia you don't serve you don't do anything your job and you've been coming here for a long time your job is to sit down watch others and complain about what is not done do you know that faithfulness faithfulness is how god blesses people hallelujah someone can say me oh god i put it as a self-imposed work my my covenant with you is that every time i will be cleaning the pulpit i would liars with decoration please give me the opportunity my job is to be cleaning the pulpit of the house of god nobody needs to know you see take what i'm saying seriously if you are interested in rising to the new level there is a level of death that must happen to you you must show god that you are not ashamed of your current level hallelujah there are people in the house of god faithfulness god gave you little blessings and they say let's kneel down in the presence of god you now lay down one hand as if as if you are asking your wife out to marry you kneel down before the presence of god and be serious the one who has kept your life all this nonsense people do in the house of god i tell you papa adeboye till today he travels around the world what's that thing that they play tambourine right he carries his tambourine among the the world's hundred most influential people it has not changed him he takes his tambourine whenever he goes to a place no matter who you are he will get down on his knees and start singing to the one who took him from where he was and brought him here i choose to be faithful i will never allow anything stop me from rising to the new level that's why you can listen to a man it's not like he has so much rema or he has so much but he will just say may god increase you and the door will open because of faithfulness and some people will come on on stage and shout as if they are forwarding a tape and nothing happens to anybody this is the place of the anointing you will find the anointing in the place of faithfulness this morning i was just worshiping and i said lord will you bless your people worship was just playing early in the morning and I was crying tears were coming out I said Lord there are people coming tonight with burdens there are people coming trusting God a lady came in from just I'm sure she's around this lady took a step of faith nobody no place to stay she just came in she said I'm tired of what is happening in my life how could I come and stand on the stage and then begin to make all kinds of noise that's why we pray that's why I take this work that God has given because I know that before I was born God has been blessing people and if I'm not serious he will get me out of the stage and you see let me tell you Dr. Paul and Encher said it is God who will use the calabash to fetch water so that he will disgrace the pot 
when the pot thinks i'm the only one god will use calabash with holes inside and still fetch water never find yourself thinking god cannot do without you that is a big deception oh god can do without joshua selman god forbid if i die today ah yes you will cry for one week you say why did he die you go and listen to all my messages that i say i wouldn't die say oh he has died after one week case closed you will fight yourselves looking for who to lead here and I, by the time you finish the fight something will... <laughs> ah thank you for this deliverance oh lord i have no business in all of this nonsense my desire is to serve you my one desire is that you be praised is that you be praised i tell you that's that's my desire that you be praised and i will be faithful in doing this my one desire is that you be praised that you be praised you want the anointing be faithful you want greater levels be faithful where you are right now whatever department you are working be faithful stop complaining stop finding fault contribute your quota and god who sees what you are doing god gave us a word that is lifting us and that means he's calling on us to be faithful one of these days god is going to be moving across this congregation checking the report cards of men let me see your prayer life did you pray for the house where nobody saw you were you worshiping in spirit and in truth hallelujah i told him lord whatever will change my faithfulness in service whatever will make me to stop seeking the blessings of your people and start looking to build an empire for myself so that you say this is joshua selman and all the great works he has done oh may it be far from me if there is any prayer you will pray for me don't pray that god should give me money don't, don't pray all those things they will come naturally pray and say lord give him focus never to be distracted by all these things that cause great men to fall ministry you want this you want branches Oh, 26 branches. The man of God now has a television. Ah, ah. My one desire is that you be praised. Is that you be praised. Is that you be praised. God is talking because there are lots of young people rising with anointing and grace. But you need a lot of guidance and grace otherwise you will just run with zeal without knowledge and you will crash land very badly stop mentoring the lives of wrong people who teach you that grace is grace of god is working in your life all of a sudden in two months your church grows to fifty thousand people is witchcraft god doesn't build people that way are you getting what i'm saying hear a little god will trust you with little be faithful when you are faithful with the little he trusts you he will take you higher and then leave you at that realm then you will be faithful then he will take you higher then you will be faithful then he will take you higher then you will be faithful then he will take you higher then you become arrogant then you remain in that level you add another arrogance you go down small then it reminds you that God can do without you then you repent and then you rise higher that's how people keep moving up and down as if they are playing computer game but once you maintain a life of humility that's how the, your path will be as a shining light men will just keep seeing you rising because God will say the way you love me bless you that's why sometimes I worship him in your presence so that you can see that you should never get into
get to any level where you become too big some of us what we need to repent of tonight is big manism when you come to the presence of god pack whoever and whatever you have i love i love i love your presence i love i love I love your truth. I love, I love. I love your presence. I love, I love. I love your truth. If only headache is being healed now, be faithful. The day God gives you an opportunity to pray for someone's head pray for the head don't go and try and just get up god didn't lead you you go and tell somebody in the name of jesus you are seeing the person no legs you say legs grow you disgrace yourself and scatter what god has been trying to do god is trying to announce you slowly you now went and cancelled it because of pride or impatience right two dangers or two enemies of faithfulness very quickly and i'll round up number one is pride pride makes us not to be faithful at the level that we are in pride obadiah 1 verse 3 i saw a scripture that blew me i'll round up right now obadiah 1 verse 3 is god challenging someone tonight obadiah 1 verse 3 everybody read the pride of thy heart has deceived thee thou that dwellest in the cleft of the rock whose habitation is high that saith in his heart who shall bring me down to the ground your pride has deceived you so that when god has given you grace for saria pride has made you believe that you are supposed to be in a television ministry pride stops men from being faithful there are many churches in all kinds of death now going to television ministry that they have no business going to god has not anointed them to that level yet see if god does not send you you can still move but the question is life will ask you who is sending you many of us pride pride the humility to remain at the level that you are in where are you walking ah uh, i shuttle between zaria abuja and just what's wrong with saying god is helping me i've started and i'm in zaria i'm doing something god is faithful don't say i'm managing don't use that language what you call managing is the prayer request of somebody else we are managing with all these people while i'm working on another white collar job it is in that place of managing you will meet your miracle that will take you to another level so you refuse to be faithful because you think you are managing how much are they paying me in this primary school i'm teaching primary one to primary six you are teaching them math you are not faithful like david in the wilderness if you are faithful one day god can give you your own business empire and you sit down and say i once was a school teacher hallelujah a young man met me one time i looked at him i said how are you sir he said fine the way he was saying fine as if he was going to push me he was going to introduce himself i'm so so person i deal with oil and gas specifically offshore you know i have the company and i'm doing this and that and that and the xyz said i should meet you for xyz and all kinds of stories and then i was just looking at him and after he made all those noise you see if you are blessed you are blessed even if you are blessed and you choose to wear slippers you are still blessed if you are not blessed you are not blessed even if you choose to borrow a car you are still it's not your own after making all of that noise and jargon i was just looking at this brother why put yourself under pressure if you see the kind of cards that he printed 
war suit, pencil tie, oil and gas. Say, I receive grace to be faithful at the level that God has, has brought me. Receive grace. Oga Jordan, please stand up. Come. I know when Oga, listen, let me tell you something. I'm sorry if I pry a bit into your private life. How many of you know Lifeway? For many years, Jordan walked with them and served faithfully. Many years. While he was learning faithfully, God was looking. He never knew that one day he will have his own bookstore. Are you getting my point? But he was faithful. I will never forget when God blessed him. His, his shop was so small. It was like a console room. A few books here and there. But God is lifting him. The last time I spoke with him, he's already making negotiations to begin to bring books directly from outside the country this is what faithfulness can bring there are people who have been binding demons for years and nothing has happened because of their arrogance listen say in the name of jesus i receive grace to be faithful with what god has given me and at the level he has placed me say it again in the name of jesus i receive grace to be faithful The clothes you cannot afford now, be patient. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The hair you cannot buy now, be patient. Brothers, the shoe you cannot buy now, the dress you cannot buy now, be patient. That's the second reason why people, the second enemy of faithfulness, impatience. I always preach and I say impatience has cheated many people many of our parents are in debt of billions of naira today because they tried to build a house that their colleagues were building that your financial level has not reached foundation enough at 50 million it would have built an estate a comfortable estate in a place i must go to gra i must go to my tama i must build in lekki Whereas, God gave you wisdom. One small place outside the town. Six million would have comfortably built a house that you would have been renting. You've carried... Listen, many families are suffering today because of the ego of our parents. Pride made them to go and enter a deal that their finance cannot take. Sold the car, sold the house, sold the property, sold everything. Because of impatience. Everybody say, I receive grace to be patient. Say it, I receive grace to be patient. Especially those of you in business. Say, I receive grace to be patient. There's no hurry. Be patient. A prophecy has already gone ahead that you will be blessed. Be patient. Be patient. Do you know what patience can do in your life? The Bible says, follow them who through faith and patience you are in ministry be patient say i will be patient say it again i will be patient stop getting up and your body is just shaking i want to organize program i want to organize program your body is just shaking you don't have the money i want to organize program and in that program i want to invite benny hill i want to invite paul and i want to invite papa you God is leading you and say, invite one brother in your fellowship that God is helping. Say, ah, which kind of brother? I want the one that the, the posters. Very funny things people do. There are ministries that run themselves down trying to invite men of God that they do not have the financial capacity and the organizational capacity to host them. They just want a name. I brought ABC. I brought XYZ. Now you go and bring a man from london matthew ashimolo in your small church of 100 people and now the whole bill and everything for bringing the man and hosting the man is five or ten million and you are there sweating praying prayers you should not have prayed you would have quietly gone to lagos or come down to zaria or anywhere and find brothers and sisters who god is helping 
Say, I receive grace to be patient. Rise gradually. I believe in faith. I am a man of faith, but faith is not foolishness. Are you getting me? You rise from faith to faith. You rise from stage to stage. There are some of us right now, you are in level one. Some you are in level two. Some God has blessed you are in level five. Be patient. In the ark of Noah, the cheetah, the fastest animal entered there. The snail also got there. It's a matter of time. Wherever God has not taken me, I don't want any man to take me. There are times I have consciously refused certain levels of exposure because I know in my spirit that the season for that dimension of exposure has not come. And although there is room to go, by the time you go, you will die. That's why a man of God can leave one geography, go to another place and start failing. And you are wondering, is this not the anointed man you used to know? Just be silent for a minute. There are many of us that the predicaments in our lives, hear me please, and our families are as a result of yokes. Please hear me. There are many of you suffering things today you did not bargain for. You were just born into some families that have covenanted things and many of you have been taught that once you are born again everything just clears from your family i am i've said it again and again and i've been criticized from it you can see the proof these people are tongue-talking believers is that true brothers and sisters hear me if i am a thief please listen if i come into your house to steal huh when I hear the sound of someone coming, I will run out. Is that true? But if your roommate came and collected money from me and said the house is free and I paid, if I see you coming, will I run? I will claim I have ownership. Are you following me? That one is settled legally and it is only the blood. They are the kind of cases the Bible says we overcame them by the blood. That one is not in my name, you shall cast out devils. That one is, and they overcame them. Who are the them? Because the blood speaks better things. That means there is another blood speaking a lesser thing. Hallelujah. In scripture, there's no time I would have shown you how that in Bible days, there were certain times when the defeat of kings was imminent. What they did was they carried their children and sacrificed them. Until they sacrificed them, even God could not stop the situation. How many of you remember the slaughter of the sons of Saul? They went to God and they inquired. They said, Lord, there is death in the land. Things are not working. What shall we do? And God told them how that Joshua entered an agreement with a land and said, we will not kill them. Are you, are you good Bible students? Remember the story. And now, they, they went and killed them by mistake. And the realm of the spirit started responding. And God's covenant people started dying. God could not do anything about it. When God prayed and said, what do we do? He said, go and ask the people to tell you what to be done. When they asked them, they said, give us the seven sons of Saul. And the Bible says, when they slew the seven sons of Saul... The land stopped killing people. The body of Christ has been robbed of sufficient spiritual intelligence. The body of Christ has been robbed of sufficient... Let her go. Come out of her now. Out now lose these chains of darkness and let this lady go listen the body of christ has been cheated many of us do not know that our parents covenanted africa every tribe every tongue every nation in nigeria were at one point idol worshippers 
Are you hearing what I'm saying? I don't care where you are coming from. Now, the point is, they went to meet these gods of darkness to look for protection. Is that true? To look for fruitfulness. Is that true? And all kinds of things. Now, as time went on, our parents or some of us had the gospel. Is that true? We had the gospel and we were translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of God's dear son. But that's where the trouble started. Because our parents did not suffer barrenness like this. Do you know why? They were gods they were servicing. So a woman will give birth to 12 children, no CS, no hospital, and nothing will happen. Because they were gods. And when a generation now made up their mind not to bow down, this devil said, that is it, let's see what will happen. And they started planting fibroids, low sperm count, all kinds of things to stop the birthing of a generation that will make them irrelevant. Listen, we are the generation that are in between. We are born again now. It's time for us to break the things that hold our families and bring them out. Our children would not need to go through these things. Are you hearing me? But in between us and our children, a generation will pay the price and it happens to be us. Are you getting my point now? This is what a lot of people do not understand. People say, oh, America. And look at what is happening in America. Do you know why? Because many of them did not understand that the devil was thriving well. They were just going around with plastic messages. Now a man can marry a man. Do you know the level of demon possession it takes for a man to desire another man? As if women are finished. A man can go to an extent of going to the hospital and change his biological configuration. Now that's acute demon possession. Are you getting my point now? So don't you sit down and refuse to deal with the things that are realities. Stop lying to yourself. It is on a, a lot of people, listen, a lot of people say, oh, I'm in Christ. The Bible says I'm a new creation. There is nothing else. Question, the Bible also said you are blessed. Why are you tightening and obeying to make the blessing a reality? I thought the Bible says it's already done. But there are principles you are obeying to actualize it. It is because you believe what the Bible has said. So you are partnering to see its reality. When the Bible says you are free and these powers are saying you are not free, you now take the revelation of the finished work of Christ to the camp of the enemy and enforce. Come on now. This is what we are doing. Are you getting the revelation now? It's not enough to just leave the... You take it to the devil and say, you are still holding my family. But the Bible says that in Christ we are new. The devil will say, that's your business. You say, all right, through the greatness of thy power, you compel him to submit. Otherwise, you will sit down there. There are families that the devil is having a free ride. That he has not attacked you yet does not mean he will not come. You are not married yet, so you don't know whether there's barrenness or not. The people that are suffering now, there was a day they will not come out for prayer call. Don't wait till it happens. Hallelujah. My family was tied down in all kinds of demonic things. I was comparing the messages I was hearing to what was happening in my family. One day I said, Lord, open my eyes. I don't want to be a fool forever. Are you getting my point? So many of you, let me tell you, you came with prayer requests, financial issues, whatever issues. You will know that it is one same spirit manifesting in different dimensions. Once you hit the root, you will see breakthroughs all around. Hear me? Some of these deliverances you are seeing is not about the individual. He is representing a family. So as God is addressing him, somebody who was not in the miracle service, suddenly they say the job has come. And you say, well, what happened? The music director is here. Where is he, Mike? Mike gave his testimony. Personal testimony. Two of your sisters. Two of his sisters were tied down. No jobs. They went to school. After last miracle service, what happened now? Two of them right now. Two, don't say it's a mistake. That cannot be a coincidence. Let me tell you. 
the devil will never let you go till you force him to leave you and your family. And that's what we are here to do tonight. I'm, I'm exhorting you to get angry. Because you see, if you are free and your family members are not free, they will tie you back. Are you getting me? A woman called, a lady called me today and said they do dialysis for her mother. 70,000 naira every week. They have been doing it for months. How much? How much? Let me tell you, no matter how wealthy you are, if you are spending 70,000 naira not on yourself, you are working to carry and spend for months, your patience will be exhausted. No matter how wealthy you are. When I heard that, I was angry. I said, now, you take this case to a man of God and you tell you, well, things just happen in the name of Jesus and the demons are just looking. And you finish an emotional prayer and drop a seed to the man of God and the demons just laugh. They say, lack of in spiritual intelligence. Demons fear territories where there is intelligence. Can I tell you, this one is not taught by theology. It's a product of the secret place. The Bible says the secret place, the secret things are with of the lord are with them that fear him this is why there's nothing to brag it is spiritual intelligence that releases blessings are you seeing what is stopping the job now you think about it you apply 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 how many of you have seen people promise to help your family they vowed they swore and they have the means when it was time to help something happen, don't say something happened. In the realm of the spirit, every man is influenced by a spirit at every given time. Either it's the spirit of God or it's the spirit of the devil. Peter looks at Jesus and by the Holy Ghost, he says, I know who thou art. Thou art Christ, the son of the Lord. Is that true? The son of God. The next moment, Jesus is telling Peter, Satan, get thee behind me. And he tells Peter, Peter, Satan has desired to sift you like wheat. But I have prayed for you that your, fail, your faith fail not. He said, and when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. Brothers and sisters, we are this generation that will help our families. There are many of our families, they went to school and they read books. They cannot explain what is happening with their lives. God brought you to this miracle service tonight. Can you say, Lord, maybe I'm the one that will stand in to end some things. It's not as difficult as you think. These are territorial powers sitting over families and they won't let you go. Some of you have written jam. Only God knows how many times. Wayek, they seize your result without any reason. Marriage, you are a beautiful girl, you've kept yourself, you love God. Any man that comes to marry you, something catastrophic will happen in his life. Do you know why? Satan wants to frustrate you, to make you think God is not mighty, so that you will resolve to go back to him. You go back to a herbalist and see if a husband will not come. Even if it's with frog jump, it will come. Because what the devil wants is not your lack of marriage. It's a union that is covenanted to him. Are you getting what I'm teaching you tonight? But we are that generation. We will say no. No compromise. We will break through the gates of the enemy. How many of us are ready to truly be free tonight? What you don't confront, you don't conquer, brothers and sisters. I confronted issues in my life. I took the word of God and I decided to cry for my life and my destiny. Otherwise, I would have remained a failure forever. Tonight, I want you to know that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. But they are mighty to God. To the pulling down of strongholds. Casting down every imagination. And every high thing. That has exalted itself above the knowledge of Christ. And bringing every thought. Every cancer. Every HIV. Every lack of progress. Tonight we are bringing it to the obedience of Christ. Now. Before I start ministering, 
I like you to pray in one minute and confront gates and say I represent myself and my family I come as an ambassador outside make sure you participate I come in as an ambassador it's time to be released it's time to be released from the shackles of darkness I'm breaking free breaking out pray for the sake of your loved ones help your family pray for your destiny say Lord I now see the problem it's not just cancer it's not just HIV it's not just poverty it's a contention from hell hallelujah hallelujah yes Lord praise the Lord lift your hands everybody lift your hands as I pray the powers of darkness tying lives and families will give way listen I tell you there will be a move of blood and fire the Lord showed me why blood to open up the gates that has been closed why fire to burn everything that has not been planted are you hearing me lift your hands mighty Jesus father there are families that are here tonight as a matter of life and death Lord your people are not gathered at unto a man they have come for a visitation yokes of sicknesses are killing families there are many people who have been tied down and Lord we understand that the enemy has done this but tonight we come in by the blood of Jesus and Lord as I make decrees inside and outside unto the spirit that confirmed the words of your servants I pray that there be an exodus from captivity at the count of seven hear me i like you to shout the name the name of jesus at the top of your voice many of you will fall into visions and trances at once you will see liberations happening in your family ushers get ready let me help those under the anointing outside please shout one two three four five six get ready now seven I plead the blood I plead the blood I plead the blood bring them out I plead the blood yokes be broken I plead the blood let the blood speak let the blood speak shekekeka shekeka marekoto let the blood speak the blood opens every gate every gate 
Lift your hands again. At the count of three, listen. I want you to shout, I am free. At the count of three, the moment you do that, there will be a release of fire. Fire. Get ready at the count of three. One, two, three. Shaka parada. Mapoto sosoba. Rekete teka baba. O salaba da katalaba kata. Rekete teba. The fire of the Holy Ghost. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Shake it, 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 it. I command powers. Let God's people go. I command yokes. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Chains. Chains. Be broken by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Yeah. Shakata pakata pakata pakata. Sekete kete kete baladaba. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at this lady. See how many people are trying to hold her. Look at how many people are trying to hold one person. How many people are trying to hold one person? Come out now. Out in the name of Jesus. Out now. You're going by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Leave her now. Now. Out. Come out. Let her be. Just leave her. Leave her on the floor. Out. Come out now. Be free from yokes. Be free. You and your loved ones. Let her go, devil of darkness.
leave her now by the power of the Holy Ghost your time is up come out come out right now release this family release them now by the power of the Holy Ghost your time is up the blood speaks in the name of Jesus out of him now come out come out of him by the fire of the Holy Ghost release him and all that belong to him the blood speaks now I open up this gate now be free in the name of Jesus Hallelujah. These are the powers, the horns that frustrates the agenda of the kingdom. See, you must not come out here as it's happening to them, realize it's happening to you. Hallelujah. Now, anyone with any kind of growth or anything in your body or you are standing in for someone lift up your hands whether a lump a growth please lift your hands because it's time for it to go turn her look at me just look at me. Look at me. In the name of Jesus, look at me. Right now, this is a this is a mighty I'm seeing seven horns on this lady's head seven horns and it's not just her seven horns this is a territorial spirit that has sat on her family but by the blood of Jesus Christ I adjure you by the blood of Jesus I see a big gate closed I open it now in the spirit Many of you may not understand what is happening. I open it. I see a gate that is closed over that family. I open it now. All the chains on it, let fire fall on them. Seketa bakata. Sekete kapa. One of the horn, terminal disease. The other one delay, the other one joblessness, the other one lack of marriage. I set it on fire as I see it in the spirit. Now, now, as it's happening to her, it happens to you in the name of Jesus. your hands hallelujah I mean those just those with any growth please lift your hands now I'll start ministering to the sick right now we'll just start with them and we're going to take testimonies hallelujah before pastor Jake comes up to minister I'm going to pray for you sick people lift your hands if you are tired of that growth just growth of all sorts you are tired if you are not tired you can put down your hand whether it's a lump whether it's whatever it is
Hallelujah. Now, as I pray for you, the Lord is showing me two people. The power of God will come upon them. There are movements on your body. Movements. 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 And the Lord is showing me a mighty being. Something that looks like an alligator. This is what I'm seeing. The Lord is just showing it to me. Two of you. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Wherever these two are, Lord, let your fire right now fall on those two. The power of God will come mightily upon those two people. Whether you are inside or outside, right now, the power of God will come and the fire will fall mightily. Please, when that happens, let's have the two people out. It's falling right now. It's falling right now. Rakabala tabada. Movements in your body. Movements in your body. Say kabala yaba. Rakatete te 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 ta. Sotoba kariata laba. Say karate galaba da 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 da. There's one more person left. Sopoto kubarata ta. Shake le 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 le. That demonic movement. The fire of God locates you wherever you are right now in the name of jesus bring her come out come out of her now out that devil of darkness this is a big i'm seeing like a beast it moves all around this woman's body it's already forming pause literal pause around her breast region that devil of darkness because this is supposed to cause stroke partial paralysis it will eat up everything they will cut one breast and then all through the body but right now your time is up please take note the second person the power of god is still going to fall on you the lord showed me two people right now in the name of jesus i release you i release you i release you by the fire of the holy ghost this is a projection of darkness the lord shows me father by your mercy let the blood speak in the name of jesus christ i set you free let the swelling go down let the pain dry up be made whole in the name of jesus outside lift your hands the one person is outside just those outside outside lift your hands i like you to shout the name jesus the power of god will come upon that person at the count of three one two three that fire of the holy ghost the mighty name of Jesus while they are getting the person those with lumps growth lift your hands now thank you Jesus as I pray for you start checking yourself we'll take some instant testimonies already the Lord has showed me one lady a lump on the left side of your breast it just disappeared right now just disappeared right now lift your hands right now i command every lump every growth go in the name of jesus go in the name of jesus go in the name of jesus i command it to shrink every growth in any part of your body right now i command it to shrink in the name of jesus i command it to shrink in the name of jesus hallelujah hallelujah now begin to check yourself who is musa 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 please quickly if i if i call your case hurry up don't waste time we're still expecting the person outside the power of god will come upon the person just when that happens let the person come musa i'm hearing the name musa 
Who has the name Musa? Hallelujah. Please, when I mention your case, or any... you are Musa, what are you waiting for? You stand up. There's witchcraft in your family, and the Lord is going to use you as a mighty deliverer. Hallelujah. Janet. 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 The meaning of your name in your language means thank you. The meaning of your name means thank you. Thank you. You're a guy. Thank you. Is a brother. Tall brother. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Now, listen. There is a lady. This is a very interesting case I want to call. The Lord is ministering to me. Listen. Listen. Not only do you see snakes in your dreams, you see them physically around you. This has happened in a long time. Who is that person? Please. You see snakes physically. Physically. This happens physically. It's your time of deliverance now. There's nothing to be ashamed of. Please. The person is around. The person is here. Come out quickly. Please. Save our time. We have a lot to do. Who is that person? You are the one? Physically. Come. Come up. There's another person. You? Come. Come. Two of them. Come now. Hurry up. Look at me. You see physical? Yes. Since when? No, well, no mic. Huh? That was last year and we didn't this year too. Where do you see the snakes? In my dreams. At times, maybe when I go out, I see them on the way. You see them physically. What of you? I see them in my dreams. Are you married? Do you know why? This is what we must destroy this night. You, your deliverance will start now. Praise God. now out by the power of the Holy Ghost now the snake you are seeing is a man that turns to a snake for you right now I, I, I just saw him in the spirit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ leave her now by the fire of the Holy Ghost out come out now out in the name of Jesus Christ out tonight is your night of liberty this lady see because I am seeing and while I stood the Lord was ministering to me and the Lord was telling me that they have made a projection that this lady will never marry any man that comes around this lady this is what destroys it this lady you are seeing nobody likes her for whatever reason nobody can know right now leave her in the name of jesus come out now the snake you are seeing leave her right now by the fire of the holy ghost hallelujah hallelujah You brought the picture two pictures listen listen wait let me describe it before you come out you brought two pictures two pictures of your family members two different pictures you came and stood who is the person two pictures i mean one one two pictures you are here with two pictures of your family members who is that person the lord is ministering to me because there is i need to pray on one of them you brought two pictures of your family members Please, when we have that person come up, what are these people here for? 
Oh, I called you. Snake. I, I left her because we are going to deal with this. Janet, where's Janet? Who's Janet? Three of you are Janet. You are from Kogi State. Who is from Kogi? There is somebody from Kogi, Janet. Kogi State. Is it Kogi? I think Kogi. Is Kogi. Please. The Lord is ministering to me. Let's save time because I don't want you to tie down somebody's. I want God to grant us grace to minister. Your name is Janet. Your mom's name is Janet. You are from Kogi State. Come. Because I see they want to kill your mother. Lift your hands. That Your mom's name is Janet. I will pray for you so that she will be free. Where, what's wrong with her? We need to pray for her. Huh? Because I'm first seeing sickness and then I'm seeing a ghastly motor accident. We must pray for her. The power of God will come upon you and it will touch her. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, by your mercy, right now, let your power set him free. My brother, I break the curse of witchcraft in your family by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, hold my hands. Let me pray for you. My dear, let me pray for you. This thing called bad luck must live your life now. In the name of Jesus Christ, be free, totally free. I'm interested in your case. Let me pray for the rest. Which of your family members is here? If you are in our family, come and stand here. God is going to visit the whole family now. Our family, if you are not part of our family, don't come here, please. If you are part of our family, just come and stand here quickly. Please, let's save time. Sister, look at me. Salvation has come to your life today. This, your crying is over. Are you hearing me? Because this, I must pray. This lady's family, she has suffered. You will just see a lady standing like this. That God will pick a lady out because this is I'm seeing hardship. Yes, sir. Where are you from? From Berry. What's your father doing now? Nothing. What's your mother doing? Nothing. Look at this. How did I know? Do I know her? Because this is a cause of hardship. There's nothing that they do that will prosper. But tonight, in the name that is above all names, salvation comes to your family. Realize that as it's happening for one person, it's happening to you too. In the name of the Lord Jesus, hold my hands. Do you know what I want you to do? Shout, hold my hands. Shout Jesus at the top of your voice. Can you do that? Jesus! Family, come. There is power in the name. We are going to pray two things the lord wants me to pray number one your mother will not be a widow are you hearing me we are going to pray we are going to break that power number two there is a cause of delay in this family that will be lifted now is that true am i making sense there is a cause of delay hold your hands together oh you are an usher when i pray for you go and continue with your work praise god there is a cause of delay father in the name of jesus you ask me to call this family out by the power of the holy ghost i release them from this devilish shackle of delay there is a power of god upon my hands i'm going to lay it upon you as it comes upon you it will terminate this delay Delay, be gone, you especially. Delay, I cause delay. Delay in school, delay in everything. I cause it in the name of Jesus. And forgetfulness. In the name of Jesus Christ. Come, you. 
Where are you from? Kaduna. You are from Kaduna. I need to pray for you. Hmm? You are not feeling very fine. Hold my hands. This is a devilish thing. Thank you, Jesus. Release her right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Stephanie, 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 Stephanie. Do we have anybody like that? Stephanie. That's the person. Bring the person in. I mean, that was the other one person. Remember our two people. Break every chain. Hallelujah. We are going to pray for miracle jobs this night before the end of the program. Hallelujah. Enough is enough. Praise God. We are going to pray for jobs. Two ladies, you and you, two of you talking, come out. Come. Yes, God would locate you. What makes you think God will forget about you? Run and come. Come and take your breakthrough. There is power in the name of Jesus. Come and join them before you do your work. See. Let me tell you something. While she stood here, she was praying and saying that the Lord will locate her. Is that, is that what you are saying? Because I saw like a flash of light and I saw it written. And this was what she was thinking. And the Lord said, let her join and pray first. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, visit her family. Visit her family. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hold your hands together. Two friends. You who came and we are just talking, looking through the window and doing a lot of things. God is going to visit you. Where is your mother? Go and tell her huh, that by next month, a big miracle is coming for her. Hmm? You know, when God tells me words like this, I'm very careful before you go and write an article on me. Now people can write all kinds of articles. Prediction incorrect. Three exclamation. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hold my hands. Let me pray for two. Hold. God is going to visit you. Look at me. You will be great ladies. I want to pray for you. The hand of God will come mightily upon you. Thank you, Father. Use them for your glory right now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Let their families be mighty. Let their lives be mighty. I separate you in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lay your hands on him. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Let him experience your power and your grace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You are sick in your body. You came here specifically for a miracle. For sickness. Let me see your hands. Please let me see your hands quickly. So that we'll know. Okay. Please come out and line up quickly. Let's minister to the sick now. Baba, come. I will start with you. Please celebrate our daddy. Thank you for coming. If you are outside, please come quickly. Just line up quickly. please please don't come out wondering will God heal me will God touch me yes he will yes he will hallelujah
Pastor Williams, Pastor Jakes, can we quickly minister to them? Please, as hands come, worship team, just lead us powerful songs of worship. Hallelujah. As we pray for them, those of you who are seated, just keep praying in tongues. We'll pray for them quickly and then we'll minister. I want God to touch everybody this night. Hallelujah. I want God to touch everybody. I pray that God will give us time. Hallelujah. If there is time, by the grace of God, we'll lay hands on everybody. Everybody. Hallelujah. We're just praying that we'll be able to do this quickly. Hallelujah. Worship team. Savior, he can move the mountain. Thank you, Father. Let your power move as we pray for your people. In the name of Jesus Christ. Go ahead. As we pray for you, please go back to your seat. Pastor Jesus. Okay. Forever. As we pray for you, just, you don't need to tell us what is wrong with you. As we pray for you, just trust the power of God to touch you. Jesus conquered the way. This thing has made me angry. This is my blood sister. Blood of my blood. Bone of my bones. That devil is a bastard this night. This is my own blood sister. Same father, same mother. Right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Let my sister, this is my mother's baby. Bone of her bone, flesh of her flesh. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every spirit of sickness by the fire of the Holy Ghost out of her forever in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. No sickness type for go in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If I do not fall sick, my sister will not fall sick in the name of Jesus Christ. Perfection. Everything wrong with you be healed now. Hallelujah. Sorry, I took it personal. The thing pained me. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let's continue. Hallelujah. Please, if you are holding a picture, just lift it up and we'll pray on it. Lift it up and we'll pray on it. Praise God. If you are holding someone's picture, just lift it up. We'll have the time when we'll pray on pictures. Hallelujah. As you go back, make sure you check yourself. Miracles are happening. It's raining. What's wrong with you? It's raining. It's raining. <laughs> I feel the wind of the spirit Now the heartbeat of heaven Let us hear Let it roll Let it roll Open the Oh, my God. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now listen. I want you specifically, you can come and stand. It doesn't mean you have it. We want to cancel HIV now. There's nothing to feel. Hallelujah. Whether for yourself or for your loved one, doesn't mean you have HIV. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please don't be impulsive. HIV is a killer disease. You may have it, come out. It's better to come out than to die. That devil is a liar. Bring her up here. Bring her up. Just leave her. Leave her. Leave her. Leave her. Just leave her. Leave her. Leave her. Just leave her. HIV. How many of you know HIV is a killer disease? How many of you know that HIV is from the pit of hell? Hallelujah. And how many of you know that HIV is reversible? This is what we are going to do right now. Worship team, powerfully, that song, Miracles Everywhere. Hallelujah. As we pray for HIV, please believe it. Believe it. For yourself and for any other person that you are standing for. As you are praying right now, some of you, when we pray for you, you need to call them and tell them this is it.
Jesus a shout of praise. Hallelujah. 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 Did you bring your prayer request? Do you have your prayer request? Please bring them out and pass it. Hallelujah. Ushers coordinate them quickly. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, I want you to know mighty miracles are happening in this place. Mighty, mighty miracles. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Mighty miracles are happening. Now, this is what will happen. Pastor Jakes will come up. Just, just um, minister for a few minutes. While he's doing that, I'll just take a few minutes break. When I come up, we're going to pray on the request. But we are going to take a few testimonies right now. Hallelujah. Now, please check yourself inside and outside. If you see that there is a notable healing, notable miracle, especially for those of you who were delivered. Hallelujah. Notable something left you, a chain broke. God, open your eyes to see something. How do we do it now? Uh, just go to the back. Go to the back. Hallelujah. When Pastor Jakes is done, he will meet you there. Hallelujah. Meanwhile, pass your prayer request quickly. Hallelujah. Praise God. Listen to me. While the apostle was ministering to those, the women with the, the burying cases. Now listen to me. One of you, three of you, this is what I saw, kind of babies you were carrying. Hallelujah. I saw the clothes the babies were wrapped in. They call it, is it turquoise blue? Is it turquoise blue? One was white, then the other was pink. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. We did not discuss this before I came. Early on, while speaking to you, and I told you a woman will come giving a testimony of a baby. Are you following? Please. Pay attention to what the Lord is doing tonight. Hallelujah. First, because God will confirm his word and God will confirm the prophetic declarations of his servants. Hallelujah. I'll pray for some people right now. Please lift up your hands. The Lord communicated to me the intention of Satan is to take away somebody's life during NYSE. Are you following? Just three days into NYSE. Hallelujah. And I began to weep. And I'll pray right now and the Lord will roll that thing away. Are you following what I'm saying? Please listen to me. I do not know who you are, but the Lord will locate you. Are you following? Whether it's your family member or whatever, that the hand of God will locate you. The devil is a bastard. Are you following what I'm saying? Satan is a bastard. How can somebody, God, the parents will train you to a point where you are supposed to bring blessing and suddenly the plan of Satan is to take away that life. Because people have projected from the village. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Father, we thank you. Please lift up your hands. Thank you, blessed Lord. <laughs> thank you, blessed Father. Thank you, blessed Lord. Mang Rikoto Panibong Rafiketale Brasso Pratelia Leon Jimbembrong Rate Kapota Virata Labara Baba Baba. The fire of God will locate you. The fire of God will locate you. The fire of God will locate you. That intention from the pit of hell, the fire of God will locate you. The fire of God will locate you right now. In the name of Jesus, let the angels of God, <laughs> aha, let the angels of God locate you. Ushers, please take note. Mark Repon, Shiketa Viron, Vendele, Arababa Bandaya, Riano Robo Bela Gala Bostana, Riata Pom, Rakte Keteria, Bakiton, Shiketa Piratose, B. 
I rebuke that hand of death. We roll away that spirit of death. That projection from the kingdom of darkness. That projection from the kingdom of darkness. Please still lift up your hands. The Lord will break chains. The Bible says, whatsoever he does, prospereth. The, works, the Lord is to bless the works of our hands. Chains tying people's hands down. The sword of the spirit will break through. And the Lord will release financial blessings. Please listen to me. Because some of you from now, please pay attention to what I'm saying. Checks will be written. Are you following? Financial blessings will come. I'm telling you, I know what I'm saying. Financial blessings will come to you. There are people that your family have been suffering. They've been trying. Your father has been working. But his, their hands are chained. Their hands are chained. And the fire of God will go through. Some of you will literally feel the fire of God in your hands. There are chains around your hands that will be broken right now. Thank you, blessed Lord. Please just lift up your hands. Let the sword of God's spirit go. Let chains be broken right now. Let chains be broken. Even outside. Let chains be broken right now in the name of Jesus. Let the chains be broken right this moment. Let chains be broken in the name of Jesus. Chains be broken. Chains be broken. Chains, chains. Chains holding your businesses down. Your father's prosperity, your family's prosperity, the works of your hands. Let the blessings of God come upon it right now. In the name of Jesus. Barrio Rapidon Rapidon Zepregila Lingon Rapigata Shakraton Rebaloske Maliro Kotobarana Bakate Gosu Paragale Bosha Thank you, blessed Lord. Thank you, blessed Lord. Thank you, blessed Jesus. Please, those of you with chest conditions, the Lord wants to touch you now. Are you following? Those of you with chest conditions, thank you, Lord. Please just lay your hands on your chest. Chest conditions around your heart, your lungs. Please just lay your hands. I sense the Lord touching you there right now. Just lay your hands on your chest. Blessed Lord. Touch them right now in the name of Jesus. Some of you will feel a warmth. A warmth around your chest region. The Lord will be touching you right now. Thank you, blessed Lord. Thank you, blessed Lord. Let healing come to you right now. You will feel a release. You sense a release right now in the name of Jesus. I rebuke that chest condition. Let it go. Let it go in the name of Jesus. Let it go right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That devil holding your chest, I command a release right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, blessed Lord. Thank you, blessed Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Just before I hand the mic over, the Lord communicates to me about these people. The Lord wants to grant you wings of ego. I hear what I'm saying? Wings of ego. It's for some people, it's not everybody I'm talking to. Wings of, of, of egos. The Bible says the amount of good wings as ego to come as grace in the spirit wings of ego you're so high you're so high in the spirit <laughs> please lift up your head I'm telling you the Lord will 
Don't you wings of ego. Thank you, blessed Lord. Holy Spirit, let the breath of God rest upon them in the name of Jesus. Let the breath of God rest upon them. Let the breath of God rest upon them in the name of Jesus. Let the breath of God right now as I speak in the name of Jesus for those people blessed one ha blessed one for those people my God let the hand of God come upon you rando koshi pratila let the hand of God come upon you the hand of God comes upon you the hand of God comes upon you the hand of God comes upon you or shall help me find those people the hand of God comes upon you. Just bring them to the right here. The hand of God comes upon you. The hand of God, of God comes upon you. The hand of God comes upon you. The hand of God comes upon you. Wings to mount up. Wings to mount up. Wings to mount up. Just bring them to the right here. Bring them to the right. Wings to mount up. Wings as eagles to mount up. Wings. There's a guy and a lady outside the Lord will touch you now. There's a guy and a lady outside the Lord will touch you right now. Rate koto parika bo liberosi ila raba hasu pirati landa bakia ko shikse subra nende man shakila bo jele. My dear, you will not recover. Are you hearing? You will not recover because you begin to have experiences, dangerous experiences. Bariro si pretile brendo prati kado branira dinazingo si pretila ha. Help me find that guy and that lady outside I spoke about. Bariro su pretila dando rosike to branira kata diraranando sin radiata. of Looking at my cute baby, this lady was participating powerfully. Hallelujah! Praise God! Now we are going to pray. I hope we have all the requests. Who has not written? Please, one minute quickly. Just write quickly and come and drop it. God answers prayers in this place. Mighty prayers. There's still a lot to do. God is blessing people. There are impartations going on. Don't wait until you come out. Hallelujah. All right, everybody stand. This is a very prophetic moment. Please stand. Online, I hope we are connecting. Prayer, all the prayer requests that have been submitted online. is left we want to pray on the request right now hallelujah 
Every request in this place is turned to testimonies. Hallelujah. Please, those, even as we pray, there will be impartations. So those who are here, as much as possible, um, just relax so that you don't get up and then you collapse on the way. Hallelujah. Do we have any more prayer requests? Okay, let's give one more minute quickly. I see people rushing with their requests. Please, for all our miracle services, we pray on requests. This was an instruction that God gave us. We cannot meet every need. Those who are online, connect with us. Mighty testimonies have come up. Hallelujah. We've had barren women have triplets. We've had genotypes changed. We've had all kinds of unbelievable testimonies. Let's see how this episode will be right now. Praise God. Pastor, Pastor Williams. Please celebrate him as he comes. Pastor, James, we are going to pray. Pastor Williams is going to lead us through this prophetic session. All I need you to do is stretch your hands and say amen when it's time. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let us spirit over 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 this request Jehovah by our Satalaba. Let the miracles not an bracket I say. Let them be breakthrough man as it. Let the impossible become possible. Make up at a shikeba. Miracle jobs in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. By the power of the Holy Ghost, Let doors open, let doors open. By the blood of Jesus, let doors open. By the blood of Jesus, let doors open. By the blood of Jesus, let there be possibility. Let the possible become possible. By the power of the Holy Ghost, in the name of the Lord Jesus, in the name of the Lord Jesus, let the man and woman conceive and rejoice. In the name of the Lord Jesus, let there be creativity. In the name of the Lord Jesus, like a Oh, my inner man, by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the finger of the Most High, by your power, oh God, by the greatness of that power, lay the enemies submit by the blood of Jesus, let us submit by the blood of Jesus, let us submit by the blood of Jesus, let doors open for your people, let doors open, even those who are online, let doors open in the name of Jesus, let there be miracles, miracles, testimonies, miracles, Testimonies, miracles, let it happen now. Miracles, let there be testimonies in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, let that which is impossible with men become possible now. Now, now, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you very God. Bless the name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Thank you, Father. Every request here we declare in the name of Jesus, it is turned into testimonies now. It is turned into testimonies now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I see miracles everywhere right now before we enter the prophetic session. Oh, miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere.
is going to do mighty things right now in this place. It's another dimension of the mighty things that you'll be doing. Hallelujah. Please, brothers and sisters, listen. God will not bring you to this place to waste your time. I told you all you need to do is to believe. All you need to do is to believe. Hallelujah. We are going to begin to decree and the power of God will move in another dimension in this place. Please, I'd like you to believe. I want you to shout amen. I want you to believe. It's time for breakthrough. It's time for the limitations that tie people maritally, job-wise. It's time for it to bow. It's time for yokes to be destroyed. And we'll also pray that there will be impartation. Some of you came to take fresh grace. Some of you have exhausted certain spiritual levels. Some doors have just refused to open. You have fasted, you have prayed. We have come tonight by the grace of God to supply grace. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let me tell you something. Prophetic words are very, very powerful. Hallelujah. It's not about speaking. It's about creating. Hallelujah. The prophetic word of God does not just reveal your problem. You already know what the problem is. But creating solution. Hallelujah. We're going to pray. Oh, that you will believe, brothers and sisters. That you will believe. That you will believe. Last miracle service, a lady had two pressing requests. One of it was to get a life partner. For her, it was becoming a serious issue. The second was to get a job. I sent the leaders the text. The very next day, after Friday like this, the next day, somebody that has been playing around has not been serious today he's here tomorrow is there the very next day this brother just came and said look i'm ready to be serious we're going to get married and that listen listen don't clap yet the that same saturday she got a text that on the next wednesday she should come for an interview that one is not just a miracle that's what we call breakthrough hallelujah pastor jakes began to speak about finances we're going to pray for that and for other issues are you ready to receive for your loved ones lift up your hands it does wonders in our midst i started seeing this since tuesday I saw a big padlock bigger than this building and it was closed and I don't assume explanations when the Lord has not told me what it is hallelujah even till I came here God did not tell me anything about it and when I sat down while past, I mean while I was standing there Pastor Jakes was ministering and the Holy Spirit told me to open the doors of prison to them that are bound to open the doors of prison to them that are bound thank you jesus Now in the name of Jesus, every tied down marital destiny, every lady that is due for marriage, every brother that is due for marriage, and nothing is happening, this night, I command that door be open. Be open now. Doors of marriage be open now. 
I call forth your life partner into your life in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Receive it in Jesus' name. Receive it now. Every marital chain over your life, I open it and I break that chain now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. For all those trusting God for job, you have applied and applied, you have done everything you know to do. Right now, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I decree and I declare, those of jobs scattered around this nation and beyond, I compel you in the name that is above all names, open now, open now, open now. Federal government jobs, oil company jobs, bank jobs, in the name of Jesus. I release it to your life. I release it to your life. Where you do not have helpers, may my God step in for you. May God step in for you. May God step in for you. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Every family here that has begun a building project and has not been able to complete it for whatever reason, right now, I compel that project to be completed in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every power that holds that project I challenge you in the name that is above all names. Let God's people finish what they have started in the name of Jesus. Every academic issue in this place. Whether admission issue, whether graduation issue, whether whatever issue, service issue, in the name that is above all names, I pray right now for every academic darkness, let there be light now. 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 For those that the devil has tied down and has said you will not finish, whether it's your undergraduate, whether your masters, whether your PhD, whatever, I command the doors of, of graduation to be open for you now. Whatever course needs to be waived, we waive it now. We waive it now. We waive it now. Whoever has vowed that you will not graduate this night, we compel them to let you go. And for those who have been trusting God for service, you are finished. The name will come out, your name will not be there. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray right now. May God move in a way no man can explain. And may you be mobilized in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to pray for every family that has, has tried to move forward. There are families that are tied down, not as individuals, as a family. It will keep working for others, but when it gets to your turn, it stops. Tonight, in the name that is above all names, whatever has not been working in your family, we move it now in the name of Jesus. Whatever mountain 
we challenge it. Rekata, sosote, aparekata, masote, bariata. I challenge it. I challenge it. I challenge that mountain in the name of Jesus. Say kabalata kabalata she. Hallelujah. Every spirit that is responsible for fight and quarrels in the house. Some of you, your parents are under yokes you cannot understand. It's not their fault, but tonight, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, every power upon your family members that will not bring peace at home. I curse it to his root in the name of Jesus. I curse it to its root in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Mighty things are happening in this place. Hallelujah. I want to pray and break the curse of poverty. There are some families, it doesn't matter how much they give you, something will eat it up. You buy a car to have accident. You build a house, rain will wash it. Right now I pray that any covenant of poverty that was entered in Rakata Bosota Reposhotala on behalf of your family, I set it on fire now. I set it on fire now. Now, 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 now. Hallelujah. Listen, I'm still going to pray that the power of God is going to move upon some people in a mighty way. Because this poverty in families must be broken. People have gotten into prostitution because of it. There are people who think you are lazy. They do not know that there are forces behind. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Lift your hands. I will first pray for you, 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 before your family. Forget about your family for one minute. And pray for yourself. If you don't need it, just put down your hands. But if you are tired at where you are, and you are saying, Lord, I'm not too young to be blessed. Lift your hands. When I count three, shout the name of Jesus, the power of God. Man, it will fall like fire. That cause, my God, I pray that that yoke of poverty will be lifted. Are you ready now? One, two, three. We cause it, we cause it, we cause it, we cause it. We cause it. Poverty dies now, now, now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to pray a very dangerous prayer for you right now. Remember the teaching I did on activating breakthroughs. The ministry of destiny help us hear me there are many of you where you are now you have the gift you have the skill you just need those who need what you have you have it you just need somebody hear me the bible says and the king sent for joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon hallelujah many of you after this meeting i tell you on that god they will send for you i want to pray for you lift your hands whoever across this globe called earth has been destined to locate you and honor the grace upon your life wherever they are except god is not god in this place i pray tonight by the power of the Holy Ghost, I call them into your life. Receive their ministry. Receive their ministry. Receive their ministry. Receive 
really help us wherever you are in the name of the Lord Jesus wherever you are from this night through phone calls emails supernatural coincidences connect to them connect to them connect to them hallelujah hallelujah I want to pray against the plague of death 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 lift your hands for you and your loved ones hear me the Bible says with long life it didn't say will I give you it said will I satisfy you you are supposed to be satisfied with it hallelujah and no devil should cut short your life I want to pray for you now every plague of death over any life here or over any family by the power of the blood be lifted now in the name of Jesus 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 hallelujah listen do you know why the son is prayed a very powerful prayer he said you are my glory and the lifter up of my head that means something lifted you down so that those that will see it and bless it cannot see it. i pray for you whatever has put your head down so that nobody will bless you this night According to the prayer of the psalmist, lay your hands on your head. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray whatever has put you down, I prophesy, arise, 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 shake it, shake it, my protocols, arise, hallelujah. Keep your hands up, please. Hallelujah. Listen. The Bible says, It shall be like a tree that is planted by the streams of water, which yield its fruit in season, and whose leaf does not wither. He said, Whatsoever he does prospers. Lift those hands. Every curse that the devil wants to put upon your hands, there are some of you anything that touches your hand fails no matter what it is from tonight that you comes to an end in the name of jesus that you comes to an end in the name of jesus that you comes to an end in the name of jesus hallelujah now i want to pray against habits look at me there are people dying of all kinds of habits from all kinds of lust to all kinds of things are you getting what i'm saying this is what gives satan access into the lives of many people doesn't matter how they pray for you doesn't matter how they they deliver you you will find yourself paul said that the things that i want to do I do not find myself doing them he said and the things that i don't want to do that's what i find myself doing it he said with my spirit i serve the lord but in my body i see another law working in my members and he said oh wretched man that i am who shall deliver me from this body of death i want to pray for you take this prayer very seriously because many of us after all the prayers and the deliverances we keep opening doors i want to pray for you it takes grace it's not about struggle listen say look at me if you want to use willpower to say i want to force myself not to sleep with this sister you are joking except you are not a man that god created many people have tried to use force this is where grace comes in 
you see grace is a powerful ability of the spirit it makes you extraordinary that's why some people don't believe that there are people who can walk in holiness they say it's impossible did you know that wicked spirits are behind these promptings you see a matured man who go and carry a little girl like this one this baby huh? a baby that he can give birth to how many times and then still want to molest it's not normal brothers and sisters or pornography once you see free internet your body is shaking no it's not normal either the victory of jesus christ is a lie or there is something wrong we want to settle that issue tonight lift your hands in the name of jesus christ every fleshly desire that although you love god you are seeing another law whatever power that sponsors this operation of lust and immorality i curse you to your root in the name of jesus i curse you to your root in the name of jesus i curse you to your root in the name of jesus I release you from every kind of habit you have been praying about. Be free now. Be free now. Be free now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says, And Jesus grew in wisdom, in stature, and in favor with God and men there are many of us there is nothing like favor in your life when you hear people talk about favor you just keep clapping for them but the sincere truth is that you don't have that testimony somebody can come and meet you come somebody can meet you and say take me to sister a's house you will escort them they will go and bring sister a and leave you it's not so favor is the sign that the presence of god is with you and if you truly have the presence of god something a signature somebody should just like you and bless you lift your hands let me pray for you if you have not been shouting amen this is a place to shout an amen and receive i pray let the oil of favor may it mantle your life now in the name of jesus 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 favor 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 i'm going to pray that prayer one more time many of you do not know that one day of favor can end some wicked struggles in your life are you hearing what i'm saying favor somebody called a man of god and told him he says sir for the rest of your life i want to be giving you allowance for food forever what kind of what kind of thing is that and this is somebody that is blessed hallelujah a lady walked up to me some months ago and said every month i will be bringing cake for you every month she brings cake for me every month there are people that send me recharge card every month as as a covenant between them and god there are people that say every month i'm showing it no matter what it is see god can bring somebody who will like you no strings attached they are just compelled by god to bless you may those kind of people find you after this night may those kind of people find you hallelujah hallelujah listen let me share with you a true story and it's the story of somebody i know this guy was trusting god for a breakthrough in his life things had gone so bad 
are you getting what i'm saying and he just went to abuja when he went to abuja he just met his friends hear me the friends told him just follow me and he followed them sheepishly only to go and find out that they were they were trying to negotiate a land how much was the land 720 million naira and the agents will get 10 percent 72 million and they, with him they became four he thought he was dreaming when they gave them they said you you followed us you have something this guy became a millionaire overnight see i don't believe in laziness but there is so much your hard work can do lift your hands one more time i pray for you where you have struggled where you are running may the favor of god pick you in the name of jesus may the favor of god pick you hallelujah 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 I want to pray one more prayer. Hallelujah. The Lord was ministering to me about something, so I was just waiting to be sure. Now I'm going to pray for you. This is the last prayer point. Hallelujah. Hear me. Many of you do not know that the biggest secret of being successful in life is to carry the fire of the Lord upon your life hallelujah the sincere truth is there are many of us who love breakthrough we love miracles but this passion for God is not there we can run to God and come and make promises oh God I will do XYZ but except your heart is with God blessings will kill you are you getting what i'm saying there are many of us the day you see one million in your account with your eyes that day you will tell god wait till the day the devil whips you and whips everything away you will remember god again i want to pray for me i consider this to be the biggest part of this meeting and it's an impartation i want to release grace and fresh fire please stand up everybody let's honor this prayer request this is why some of you came especially some of you who are pastors or in ministry you cannot afford to do ministry in a powerless way you will struggle for nothing it's what will make you angry with people and it's what will lead you to go and start dipping your hands into ungodly things because you are looking for power there are pastors now running elter skelter going everywhere because they want power for signs and wonders and god can give it freely our goal in this place hear me i've said it again and again is not for us to have some superstar men of god trying to help some people know is to empower you and release you to go and do the works hallelujah there are some of you that have been praying and say lord will you put an anointing upon my life that will cause my generation to hear my voice there are many of you who have been praying and say lord my prayer life is dead there is even nothing there again there are some of you your word life is dead the last time you read your bible was during koinonia last week i'm going to pray for you there will be an impartation and i'm going to release spiritual gifts paul said i desire to come to you that i may impart upon you some spiritual gift this thing is not about struggling if it's there it's there if it's not there it's not there period i'm wearing a suit i cannot assume i'm wearing a suit i'm not wearing a kaftan no matter how i pull this suit down it's not a kaftan brothers and sisters I see the way many people behave over anointing this is not how god trained us when you catch it you know you have it paul said such as i have this struggle that people do it is not there period i 
I don't want you to have a struggling Christian life that will make you to start lying bringing prophecies that are not of God misleading people into things that God did not say because you are under pressure to show that you have power you lay hands on people they are not healed you force them to say they are healed brother if that healing power is there it will show you don't need to tell people i have it people are not blind they are not stupid they know when authentic power is there there are ministers that are struggling struggling arrogantly and they will not know there is an easy path in the spirit today i want to pray for you if you will believe that something will come upon your life it's not enough to see the things that happen here these things are available if you are really interested lift your hands i want to pray for you from the depth of my heart you are a pastor you are an evangelist you are an apostle you are a prophet you are a ministry or you just have a passion for god and your christian life has died fire is coming upon you lift your hands just keep your hands lifted jesus let a fire of impartation your people need fire they need power in their life right now at the count of three there will be a release of mighty impartations after the count of three i'd like you to shout at this goodness the power of god will move in a mighty way I will release it from the depths of my heart. One, two, three. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Ba ba ba, shake a la barriera. Shake it, take it, take it, take it. Receive it. Fire altars coming alive. Shake a ta ta ta. Prayer altars coming alive by the power of the Holy Ghost. Fresh power. Fresh fire. Let it come like a mantle upon your life inside and outside. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Lift your hands as I begin to release the gifts of the Spirit. Whichever it is that is for you, it will hit you where you are right now. Let the gift of wisdom, my God, upon as many. Just a simba. Take it now. Take it now. The gift of wisdom. The word of knowledge. Receive it like fire. Take it. Take it. The gift of healing. In the name of Jesus. Let the healing anointing fall. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Healing fire. Healing fire, so to to kaba, rekete ne kaba, ba proto shota ba la 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 la. Let the gift of prophecy, I command prophetic fountains at the count of three, be open. One, two, three. Take, 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 take it right now. Prophetic fire. Prophetic fire. Shake it, take 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 it
for visions, grace for prophecy, dimensions of spiritual experiences. Gift of tongues, receive it. Interpretation of tongues, the working of miracles, the working of miracles, the mantle to move powerfully in the miraculous. You will raise wheelchairs, blind eyes will be open, deaf ears will be open. Take it now. Take it now. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. For those of you in business or all kinds of entrepreneurial things, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that anointing that was upon Joseph that made him do supernatural things, I pray right now, may that anointing upon as many who are in business, they're in entrepreneurship and are kingdom financiers. Right now, let it fall upon you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every request that you came here with, whatever made you to leave your house, and come here tonight whether it has been mentioned or not i lift up my hands and in the name that is above all names we turn that request into a testimony we turn that request into a testimony never be the same again. Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain 